On the 6th of April 2024, chaos erupted on the streets of Bradford, West Yorkshire. Frantic 999 calls flooded in as a mother, Kusuma Akta, was viciously attacked while pushing her baby in a pram along Westgate. It was a scene straight out of a nightmare, and as the dust settled, one woman was dead, one child had lost his mother, and one husband was on the run. This is the story of Kulsuma Akhtar and Habibul Masum. Hi everyone, I have managed to get some information from people that know the alleged murderer in this case, so stay tuned to the end to find out what information I have gathered. Before her tragic death, Kulsuma Akhtar, aged 27, was a vibrant and loving individual, cherished by her family and friends. Living in Oldham, Greater Manchester, Kusuma was known for her warmth, kindness and infectious laughter. A devoted mother to her young baby, she embraced motherhood with grace and determination, ensuring that her child was always cared for and loved. Kusuma's compassionate nature extended beyond her immediate family as she was deeply involved in her community, offering support to those in need and spreading joy wherever she went. Her cousins described her as polite, humble, and always ready to bring a smile to the faces of those around her. Kulsuma had been married to her husband, Habibur Masum. Before the tragic events that unfolded, Habibur led a life characterized by ambition and aspiration. Aged 25, he embarked on a journey that led him from his homeland of Silet, Bangladesh, to the vibrant city of Oldham, Greater Manchester. Not much is known about his early years, but it's evident that he shared a deep bond with Kusuma as they journeyed together into parenthood. Beyond his personal life, he maintained a presence on social media platforms, particularly YouTube, where he shared snippets of his life, including videos documenting mundane tasks like shopping for clothes or building furniture, reflecting a desire to connect with others and share his experiences. Additionally, his LinkedIn profile indicates a pursuit of higher education with a focus on marketing and digital marketing at the University of Bedfordshire between 2021 and 2023, showcasing a commitment to personal and professional growth. In terms of his immigration status, he is believed to have obtained a student visa and later a postgraduate visa after completing his degree. These details paint a picture of a young man on the cusp of adulthood, navigating the complexities of life, love and ambition before tragedy struck, altering the course of his journey forever. The marriage between Kulsuma Akhtar and her husband, though initially filled with promise and hope, ultimately became marred by the shadows of domestic abuse. What began as a union of love and companionship gradually descended into a cycle of fear and violence, shattering the illusion of happiness and security that once defined their relationship. At the outset, their marriage appeared to be like any other, a celebration of two souls coming together in love and unity. Kulsuma, with her infectious laughter and kind-hearted nature, and her husband, whose ambition and aspirations seemed to mirror her own, embarked on a journey into matrimony with dreams of building a life filled with love and prosperity. Yet, beneath the surface, cracks began to form, revealing a darker reality that would soon come to define their union. As time went on, Kulsuma's husband's behavior began to change, his once charming demeanor giving way to outbursts of anger and aggression. What started as isolated incidents soon escalated into a pattern of control and manipulation as Kulsuma found herself trapped in a cycle of abuse from which escape seemed impossible. Behind closed doors, she endured physical and emotional torment at the hands of the man she once loved, her cries for help falling on deaf ears as she struggled to maintain the facade of a happy marriage. The signs of abuse were often hidden from view, concealed beneath a veil of secrecy and shame. Kusuma's friends and family, unaware of the horrors she endured behind closed doors, could only watch helplessly as she withdrew further into herself, her spirit slowly eroded by the relentless onslaught of violence and fear. Despite their best efforts to offer support and assistance, Kusuma remained trapped in a prison of her husband's making, her cries for help stifled by the suffocating grip of abuse. It was reported that Masum was on bail for assaulting and threatening to kill Kulsuma from Oldham before the attack. 
Masum was conditionally bailed by Manchester Magistrates Court last November, despite prosecutors objecting to his release, according to PA Media. He pleaded not guilty to both offences at a hearing on the 27th of November and was ordered not to contact Kulsuma, it is understood. His bail conditions also prevented him from contacting an unnamed second person or visiting a particular address. Court documents show that Masum, whose address was listed as Oldham, was charged with threatening to kill Akta on the 24th of November and assaulting her on the 23rd of November. Both offences were alleged to have happened in Manchester. Both West Yorkshire Police and Greater Manchester Police have referred themselves to the Independent Office for Police Conduct. Watchdog over previous contact with Masum and Akta. On the 6th of April, 2024, calls flooded the emergency services as the tranquility of a Saturday afternoon in Bradford, West Yorkshire was shattered by a heinous act of violence. The clock ticked past 3.20pm when Kosuma actor accompanied by her young baby ventured into the bustling city centre, pushing her pram along Westgate. Little did she know that this seemingly ordinary outing would soon turn into a nightmare. Around 3.21pm, chaos erupted at the junction of Druton Road and Westgate as witnesses described screams piercing the air, drawing the attention of passers-by. In the midst of the commotion, Kusuma found herself ensnared in a violent confrontation with her estranged husband, Habibur Masum. The altercation quickly escalated into a brutal assault, leaving Kusuma gravely injured and fighting for her life. Emergency services were swiftly dispatched to the scene, with paramedics arriving within minutes to tend to Kulsuma's injuries. By 3.30pm, she was being rushed to the hospital, her condition critical as medical personnel battled to save her life. Meanwhile, her young baby, unharmed but traumatised by the harrowing events they had witnessed, was taken into the care of authorities. Despite the valiant efforts of medical staff, Kulsuma's injuries proved too severe, and by 4pm she was pronounced dead at the hospital. The news sent shockwaves rippling through the community as the reality of her loss began to sink in. In the aftermath of the attack, law enforcement agencies sprang into action, launching a nationwide manhunt for Masum. On Saturday the 6th of April, shortly before 3.20pm, Kulsama Akhtar was walking in Bradford city centre. Kulsama was with her young baby at this time and was walking along Westgate when she was stabbed, attacked and stabbed multiple times. Emergency services were called at 3.21pm. However, despite the best efforts of members of the public, ambulance crews and hospital staff, Kulsama sadly lost her life due to the injuries. Her baby, is safe and well and was not harmed in this incident. Through initial CCTV inquiries, we identified a suspect, 25 year old Habib Masum. Kulsama and Masum are known to each other and are from Oldham in Greater Manchester. On Sunday, we circulated an appeal to locate Masum, who also has links to Burnley and Chester. Masum is a slim Asian man and was last seen wearing a duffel coat with three large horizontal lines of grey, tracksuit bottoms and maroon trainers. By 5pm, raids were being conducted across the country, from Oldham to Burnley and beyond, in a desperate bid to apprehend the perpetrator and bring him to justice. Now, this is an emerging story and details are sure to change over time. However, what seems to be consistent is that Habibur is the alleged murderer in this case. On the 9th of April, he was arrested in the Aylesbury area, which is around 150 miles south of Manchester. He was arrested alongside a 23-year-old man whose identification has not yet been released by police. The 23-year-old was arrested in aiding and helping Habibur. As promised earlier in this video, I have managed to speak to a colleague of Habibur who worked in a restaurant in the Oldham area. The information I have obtained is that Habibur was deeply depressed at the fact that Kosuma was set to leave him. She was in a refuge in Bradford. In restaurants, the busiest days are usually Friday and Saturday, but Habibur failed to show up for the last few days. Habibur was confiding about his marital problems with SE Ed colleagues, but generally seemed calm and had a soft demeanour. 
But like a lot of domestic violence cases, people such as Habibur are very good at having two sides, one that people see and the other that just the victim sees. Kosuma was put in a refuge in another city to be kept safe and away from Habibur after the incident in November 2023. However, how he found out about her location and her whereabouts is unclear at this time.